This is Stephanie from CT Bites, and I'm here in the market with Nicole Strait, Time to Eat Chef. I'm having a party for 4th of July. She's going to help me pick out some things from the Westport Farmers Market to get things done. And it's not going to cost you a fortune. It's not going to cost me so a fortune. So what I thought you would do, which would be really nice for 4th of July, is just pack some really wonderful sandwiches using all wonderful uh, products from the Farmers Market that you can do ahead of time that won't cost you a fortune. So we're going to start. These are wonderful. These are um, an early summer crop. They're called scapes, and they're very garlicky smelling. And actually, you add them into salads, and they're really cool looking, too, Beautiful. also for garnish. They're sort of like chives with a very garlicky taste. So we're going to chop those up and put them into our salad. All right, so Stephanie, we have these beautiful pea tendrils over here from Starlight Gardens, and these are a really special crop because as soon as the weather gets warm like today, they're done. They're done. So we're going to actually add this to our sandwich. They're very sweet. They're a nice tender green to okay. use, and they just have a really nice flavor. If you can't find these, you could use arugula. Substitute. You could do okay. something else. But if you can find these at the farmer's market, by all means, buy and them do they, now. When do they start coming to the farmer's they start, market? They're one of the earlier things to start growing in the season, and it's, again, as soon as the weather starts to get warm, and as soon as people start to harvest the peas is when they, right. they get too big. So we're going to get some pea shoots, and again, these are very tender, so make sure you don't wash them until right before you use them. They're very delicate, and they're very delicious. So we're going to get some of these pea shoots, and then we'll weigh them. All right, so Stephanie, moving along in our wonderful 4th of July sandwich, we have Rich and Helen here, and they sell some delicious goat's cheese, which makes any sandwich better. Anything better, So again, really. <laughs> any of these goat cheese, I see one with chive, one with dill, one with some black pepper, any kind of goat cheese you like would be wonderful with our sandwich. So you want to try a quick bite before sure. we buy some? Okay. What do you like the best? What's your favorite? I like the dill myself. You like the dill. Let's, let's try that one. A lot of egg dishes, yeah, yeah. Pasta dishes. How are you? Oh, I'm hungry too. Can't go wrong. I know. <laughs> She's uh, making some oh. So we'll get some of that on your sandwich. Great. All right. Alright, so Stephanie, we've bought our scapes and our tomatoes and our fresh Italian parsley and we're over here with John Baricelli from Sono Bakery. I didn't know you were and <laughs> enjoying his own and food. We're gonna get um, either a baguette or one of these nice um, large loaves. He's good. Beautiful. And exactly you can just slice these in half and make a gigantic sandwich and slice them up, wrap it up in parchment paper and you're on your way. And then instead of making your own dessert, you can just buy a couple little tartlets and, and have a really easy Makes life easy. Hi, I'm Nicole Strait. We're back at Stephanie's house. We went and had a great time at the farmer's market. We brought back some wonderful products. We have our garlic scapes, beautiful tomatoes, these delicious looking pea shoots, some of this gorgeous uh, chive goat cheese, and we're going to assemble a beautiful and really easy summertime sandwich for her 4th of July barbecue. So here we go. We've got some beautiful bread that we got today from Sono Bakery. And we're just going to open it up and we're going to add some prosciutto to this. Again, you don't have to use prosciutto. You can use any kind of hard salami, something that will has a nice salty flavor that will last you for a little while. And then we're going to put some tomatoes on. And again, this is a great, very sort of peasant-like sandwich. It doesn't have to be very put together. On the other side of the bread, we're going to put a nice, healthy smear of goat cheese. And this, those guys were so nice today at the farmer's market. They were willing to let us taste everything and sat and told us about their goats. It was nice. You'll see the sandwich is coming together. We have a little bit of parsley and arugula that we bought today. Again, parsley just gives everything a nice fresh flavor and arugula gives everything a nice peppery flavor. It's always good to have lots of greens on your food. And then we're going to cut up some of these nice scapes. And these are really crunchy and they have a very uh, definitively garlic taste to them, which is always nice. It's kind of fun to have a lot of different texture when you're doing your sandwiches. And then we're going to do a little bit of, a little tiny bit of balsamic. You don't need much because when you're doing a sandwich, you don't want it to get um, really mushy. So just a little tiny drizzle. And then finally, we're going to add these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pea shoots. And add a lot of them because you're going to push the sandwich down. And then just a little tiny, tiny bit of salt on top of this. You could add a little bit of olive oil, but you really don't need to because you have all these different great textures. Put this sandwich together, give it a little push, and you can cut it into some nice wedges, wrap it up in some parchment paper, and you have a beautiful, fantastic, farmer's red, farmer fresh, farmer ready sandwich to go for your 4th of July. Have a good one.